Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean for you to see that narcissistic part of me. But don't you wonder why some people have beautiful, shiny, glowing, radiant skin and hair, and some people don't? Did you ever wonder if that tells you something about that person's underlying health? Meaning, could your skin and your hair, the quality, the shininess, the fullness of them, be telling you something about your global physiology and your global health or lack of it? The answer is yes, and it is backed up by current research. I'm Dr. John Bartimus, and I'm putting the pieces together to help you live a life at Optimal. Yesterday, I posted a picture of myself on Instagram with messy hair, don't care, after the pool, and I had curly locks. And I've never grown my hair out long enough to realize that I could have curls. And so I posted the picture and some people commented about whether or not hair tells us anything about our health and I should do a video on that. So Nicole, this one's for you. In searching the PubMed database, and even before I did that, I responded to Nicole yesterday on Instagram and said, well, we know there's a gut-brain axis. We know there's a gut-skin axis. And since the hair follicles reside in the skin, I hypothesized that there's probably a gut hair axis, copyright this guy, September or uh, July 24th, 2018, cite me in that. Um, so I went to PubMed and started searching around to see if anyone else had preemptively stolen my copyright. And no one has officially, which is nice. And in the research, there is evidence that the gut skin axis includes the hair and that the health of your gut impacts the health of your skin and the health of your hair. The hair resides, the hair follicle resides in the skin. So the environment, the physiologic environment or the local tissue environment of the skin impacts the hair follicle and can make it shiny or less shiny, make it grow faster, or slower, full or more full, full or less full, excuse me. So the research shows us that there are multiple things that can impact the quality of health of your hair. And one of the biggest ones is the health of your gut and the microbiota or the bugs that make up your gut. Research has shown that also the nutrients that those bacteria make impact the health of your hair, specifically vitamin B7 or biotin. In your gut, you have, say, a balance or a, a, a typical amount of biotin that is impacted by what you consume through your diet and by the metabolism of it um, from the bacteria, excuse me. So some bacteria make biotin and some bacteria consume biotin. So there's a give and take to that pool. So if you are not consuming enough biotin, that's obviously gonna maybe depress that pool. If you don't have good levels of bacteria that produce biotin, that's gonna decrease that pool more. And if you have bacteria that consume more biotin, that can decrease that pool more. Not having the biotin will take away the nutrient that provides for healthy skin and healthy hair. So we have to make sure we have good gut bacteria and a healthy gut overall. This is where probiotics come in and may influence your hair health, hair loss. Studies have shown in mice that if researchers deprive mice of biotin and give them antibiotics, which um, destroy healthy gut bacteria and allow for overgrowth of bad, bag, bad gut bacteria. They found that mice began to bald or lose hair or go totally bald. And this showed that antibiotics can disrupt the gut skin axis and lead to hair loss or balding or alopecia. And lack of biotin or biotin deficiency can lead to hair loss as well. The biotin deficiency could be from lack of consumption in the diet or lack of good biotin producing bacteria or overgrowth of biotin consuming bacteria. So this is very awesome research tying 
what would seem like a far removed system, the gut, to hair loss. But really, gut is integral to your overall health, and hair is not excluded from that, as we've seen today. So if you're suffering from hair loss, from alopecia, from balding, or you're not losing hair, but your hair isn't as shiny as you would like, or as full as you would like, take a look at your gut health, take a look at potentially thinking about adding probiotics and your biotin consumption, and those may be strategies to use to increase hair fullness and increase shininess, which may therefore increase your attractiveness to the opposite sex because full hair and shiny hair is known historically as a sign of fertility and everyone likes fertility.